So let's say that I am finding the energy of a mole of photons with a wavelength of 400 nanometers. We have this equation, and now we want to plug it into the calculator. So first we need H, Planck's constant, which is 6.612 times 10 to the negative 34. Now, instead of writing this number each time, what we can do is we can store it to a specific value. The way we do this is we first write the value here, then we click the store, the stow button, click that, and now we can choose a letter. See how we have all of these letters? Now, the Planck constant is H, so I'm gonna use H. So I click alpha, H, and now it should store. So let's test it, let's see H. And as we can see, it gives us our H value. So let's do the same thing for Avogadro's number, which I'm going to use as A. And Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. And I want to store this in A. And now we have it in A. And I want to do the same thing for the speed of light. Speed of light is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. So we go ahead and store this in C. And now we can plug in our equation over here. HC over lambda times Avogadro's number. We can do that H. H times C divided by our wavelength here is 400 nanometers. So 400 times 10 to the power of negative 9. multiplied again by Avogadro's number, or A. And now we have this equation, the energy of a mole, H, C over lambda, N, A. Lambda is 400 nanometers, and now we have plugged it into our calculator using our values of H, Avogadro's number, and the speed of light. So now we can hit enter, and it gives us this value. So that means the energy is equal to 0.0. And that is our answer.